What's up guys, it is Jay Beeps here and welcome to another episode of the Barrow Road to Glory. Last episode, if you remember it, we got promoted up in EFL League 1 now. Things are kind of going good for us. But if you also remember, the player who ultimately led us to promotion, Ure, our striker, was out of contract and looked like he was going to be leaving the club. But I told that man, you did too much to this club, you did too much for us. You want a pay increase? Go on ahead. 20,000 wages for you, Mr. Ure. You are staying at this club. You carried us to promotion. You deserve to do it again. So I brought him back. But obviously, the league, the team does not revolve around one striker. It is a unit, and to help that unit will be Lance Harper, the right English right back. Nothing spectacular about him. But you never know what any of these players are going to end up being like. Ethan Bradshaw will be going on a one-year loan move to Austin FC. If you remember, I really wanted him to be good for us. He has a leadership trait, young player from the Youth Academy. However, he is quite low in overall. So hopefully he goes on alone. He comes back a good player. Ollie Banks will be departing the club. He's joining, I believe, Austrian side FC Lugano. He'll be going there for 590k. When he was a player for us, he was a very, very good player for us. Unfortunately, he is no longer a key player, and he deserves to get some playing time somewhere else. I'm rich, okay? We have a lot of money, I've decided, this season. The, the starting 11 does not need any fixing. We just need some backups, and we need some potentially replacements. So we're going with the Youth Academy. Got a 5-star, 4-star scout. First one's going to Estonia for 9 months to get us some physically strong players. Now, I'm not just sending him to Estonia because, obviously, the scout is Estonian. In my worst to best Road to Glory that I did, that I did not finish on FIFA 21, like, three of, three of our starting players who had potential to be special came from Estonia. So, I'm hoping I get that same look on FIFA 22. Which is also the reason that I'm going to Hungary for nine months, because, again, some of our best players on that save came from Hungary as well. Nine months to get some, an attacker. Well, multiple, hopefully. And obviously the final scout is going to England for nine months. No specifics, just head to, the, head to the homeland, bring us back some good English talent. And here's the moment you all have waited for. Our very first league game against Hull City, we are hosting at Holker Street. The starting lineup is as follows. Boyce Clark is the keeper, Platt and Vera center backs, Hutton and Bra outside backs, Ashworth and Beedling are the defensive mids, Jota and Balo are the outside mids, Gots is the attacking mid, and our main man, Ure, is the striker. Get used to this lineup, because everyone on this starting 11, except for Ure, is like 24 years old and continuously improving. So we're going to be seeing all these names for a long time. And here are the highlights. Lucky what we have here, a 2-1 victory over Hull City and absolutely dominated them. I think they should be one of the better sides because I think they are they should be pushing for promotion. But we absolutely dominated them. We played perfectly. Ure was on fire. The entire team was playing very, very well. And if this is a sign of the things to come, then we might get back-to-back -back promotions. So Rory Byrne has been sold to... Brook Bet in Spain, I believe, or Germany. One of the two, I can't remember. I do plan on doing a series with them in the future, so I probably should know where they are from. But Rory Byrne has been sold there. Owen Martin will be going to Dundee FC in Scotland for 390000 And because I did such a good job in August, I've won my first... No, I think I won one in EFL League 2. But my very first EFL League 1 manager of the month award hopefully i only have a chance to get 10 of these because hopefully we go back to back adam king will be departing the club he is joining english side tramier rovers for 550,000. and i've won another manager of the month award back to back manager of the month awards might i add so look what i said i said estonia pumps out some good talent perfect example here is pavo koppel Right back, I'm converting to defensive mid from Estonia, 63 overall, 
67 to 87 potential. We'll send him up. I'll probably find a role for him. Nandor Nemeth from Hungary. Very good shooting, very good dribbling, very good pace. Exactly what I want from a winger. And honestly, if Jota doesn't keep improving, I mean, N Nemeth might just take a starting spot. Roly Cool is also joining the first team. Going to be left back from Estonia. Adding some depth to the team. Lance Harper has been sold to Irisside Bohemian FC. And he is departing for $820,000. Steven Fanning is also joining Irishside St. Pat's for $300,000. And we now, we're not, we're not down in EFL League 1 anymore. Or EFL League 2. Jeez, we're in EFL League 1 so we don't have to play in round 1 of the FA Cup. Instead, we skip right to round 2. And we're facing off against former Premier League side Oldham Athletic. And the team is, I mean it's the same as always. Like I said, get used to this lineup. It's going to be around for quite some time. Here are the highlights. An excellent performance by the boys, 3-0 victory, absolutely dominated, 8.8 .8 expected goals, dribble success rate was the same, I mean, they had same, they had better shot accuracy and better pass accuracy, but when we're firing off 13 shots a game, that's going to happen, but 3-0 victory, we advance in the FA Cup, love to see it. Jagup Rutare will also be joining the first team from Estonia. Right back, 73 to 93 potential. Might amount to something, but again, with any of these youth players that aren't going to be continuously playing in the first team, I have no clue. Even, same even goes for Ibrahim Talbot. English defensive mid, 61 overall, 79 to 85 potential. He could be good, but I don't know when he's going to play or how he's going to play. Alexander Manik will also be joining the first team. Attacking mid from Estonia, 59 overall. Has some very good dribbling ability, so that could come in handy. Probably put him on the bench just in case. I need someone to be come out, come on the team and be good. Victor Kiss will also be joining the first team. The Hungarian left mid that I am converting to striker because obviously his shooting, aside from his pace, is his best stat. Natural 5-star weak foot, high attacking work rate. I don't think he'll be anything for us this season, but definitely want to use him in the future. Jens Kabin is also joining the first team Estonian right back, 57 overall, 71 to 94 potential, sending him up to again see if he amounts to anything. James Woolley will also be joining the first team, English defensive mid, 54 overall, 73 to 87 potential. He has the second wing, second wind trait, so that might that that single trait might keep him at the club for a long time. So in the league, we are second. And the only team that we were behind is Hull City, who we beat that very first match day. So I think you can make the case that things are going pretty well. A little bit unexpected, uh, to be honest, as well. Very surprising, but we sh that means we should go back-to-back. -back. We should be a championship club next season. So that is obviously something that is quite promising. Next episode, we're pushing for promotion. I mean, that's simple. I mean, we're in second place. If we just keep performing, keep doing what we've been doing, we should be going up. And if we go up, I think we're very capable of definitely not back to back to back. But I think we could be a mid-table side in the championship if things just keep progressing as they have. But again, everyone knows how this works. Anything can happen. Anything can delay everything we've been working for this season. So we'll have to wait and see. And... If you want, if you can't wait, you want to see the minute it comes out tomorrow. Next episode will be coming out. Subscribe so you can see. Turn on the notification bells. I mean, I really don't care. Just watch the videos and subscribe. And it is Jay Beebs signing off. <laughs>